Hello guys, uh, welcome to the machine learning mindset. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the difference between micro and macro average metrics. So let's say we have a classification metric. We use a fun example, a fun score as an example. So the question here is that what's the difference between micro and macro averages in our context? So there are a couple of assumptions here. So we use a fun score as our classification metric we separately calculate and show the differences between micro and uh, macro there is a typo here let me just change it in the collab and that's all okay and we consider the general multi-class um, classification scenario so it can easily um, be extended to the binary classification because that's, that's part of it so view phone score is calculated as below so two multiply by basically multiplic multiplication of precision and recall and the addition of precision and recall and how precision and recall are calculated those are two uh, famous metrics um, in the context of classification in particular binary classifications so the precision is basically um, the division of uh, two positive so basically all samples that are classified as positive so first um, we count the samples that are classified as positive whether true or not doesn't matter so divided by all samples classified as positive so all samples are the true positives means the samples that are um, classified as positive and which are actually um, basically have the true positive label plus the samples that are classified as positive but they are not actually positive so probably we can change this thing a little bit to um, here so this is just a google collaboratory as we usually use it so let me just change the documentation here so i would say correctly classified as positive because they could have been incorrectly classified as positive as well here it is so correctly classified as positive so you probably work with the google collaboratory so you need to put some escape parameter here so you just create the escape for you i mean they create the space for you so okay so the number of samples that correctly classified as positive to all number of samples that are positive let's let's keep have the example of having a disease um, diabetes so true positive means if we correctly classified some sample as having the diabetes but all samples that class uh, all positive samples or the samples that are in the databases and the system classified them as positive some of them might be wrong false positive it means they are classified as positive but they're not positive so let me go to the recall recall is basically um, it shouldn't have a two here let's just correct it the recall is basically the portion of true positive um to the portion of all truly positive so it means true positive we talk about it but what is false negative it means let's say someone actually has the diabetes but the system says they don't so it's a false negative it's technically a positive example but the system is classified by false as negative so there's a subtle difference between um, precision and recall as you can see the difference is this false positive and this false negative for more information you can read more in wikipedia and so you can learn about these classification metrics um, let me just go ahead um, what is macro so a macro average is compute the metric for each specific class and simply return the average so let's say our metric is f1 score precision recall accuracy whatever so this is an example so for class one we have 10 true positive 20 false positive and 100 false negative so based on the formula above the precision is 1 over 3 recall is 1 over 11 for practice just calculate what's going to be the f1 score using this formula same for class 2 we have different kind of i mean we have 20 true positive 
20 false negative, uh, false positive, and 100 false negative. So we have precision and recall calculated. Again, calculate the phone score. Similar approach for class three, and the phone score by the average of macro is going to be calculated very simple like this the phone score for the class one class two and class three and just average by three so this metric is not trusted or reliable for imbalance scenario because it assumes as i wrote here the contribution of each class equally which may not be true so it's circuit learn you can simply use it this like from circuit learn metrics input phone score we have a prediction we have a prediction um, class labels and we have the ground truth labels and we can um, calculate the phone score as below so you see just return almost 56.56 as the macro phone score so but what about micro so the micro is actually contribute the contribution of samples on overall performance rather than considering each class specifically so the contribution of all classes is aggregated so Let's bring up the example of uh, previous example for class one, class two, class three. We have different kind of different true positive, false positive, and false negative. We don't calculate any precision recall or reference score or class specific. Instead, we add all of the true positives in our experiments for all classes, all false positive, and all false negative. And based on the these numbers, we are going to basically um, do our calculation. This calculation might be a little bit wrong because <coughs> I misclassified it. So, in addition, we pr we have AD false positive, and we have three hundred twenty false negative. So this calculation is um, changed. You just try to, uh, for practice, calculate them. For example, for the precision, we have true positive or true positive plus false positive. So which is 40 over 120, which is going to be one third. <coughs> uh, for the recall, we have true positive over true positive plus false negative, which is going to be 40 over 360 and this is going to be one over nine <clears throat> and if you want to calculate the final score it's going to be one over three one over nine or one over three over one over nine so it's going to be one over 27 in fact um, over four over nine so if we by mind if it's going to be one over three so it's going to be one over 12. you just double check to see if my computations are correct or not because i just computed them by hand um, uh, not a calculator so here if we have the same y to run y prediction as above we are going to calculate the FN score with micro metric. So you can see the result is different. Now we have 55 and now we have 66. So different kind of averages. You, um, I suggest you go ahead and read more in the CycleLearn website about the differences of them. Here I just provided two very simple examples for you to become familiar with the buzzwords of micro and macro that you probably may hear a lot. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Uh, feel free to comment below if you have any questions.